Hi to all the Creative Head Most Wanted judges. My name is Leah Walton. I'm 20 years of age and I'm a technical director specialising in colour work here at the Colour Room. Our salon is based in this beautiful and historic part of the Stockport Town Centre here at 21 to 23 Great Underbank. I play an active role in all parts of salon life, both as a team member and an individual, engaging in industry events and competitions, as well as building up my media and industry profile. I'm a very sociable, outgoing and I hope everybody would agree, a generous and warm-hearted person. By nature, I'm a very creative person who is inspired by fashion, colour, beauty and the world around me. I also love the buzz and inspiration I get from my clients and colleagues. I am a doer, not a procrastinator and I have grabbed every opportunity in my career so far, always going the extra mile to achieve my goals through drive, determination and ambition. My client base is really broad and ranges from young trendsetters to well-groomed professionals. She's, got, she's capable, she, she's got the confidence in her own abilities and I think what she's achieved since she's been a few years she's been here is amazing. The colour room is such a vibrant and forward-looking salon. I am very fortunate to work with such a passionate and talented team who provide me with no end of inspiration and encouragement. My mentor, Sean Tetlow, is a fantastic hairdresser. Sean has encouraged me to take on challenges and really believe in all of my abilities. Um, and she's just gone on from strength to strength. You know, she just embraces each new challenge. She loves uh, the, the industry. It's great fun to work with when you see her doing hair. What you get is somebody doing it with a smile on the face and really enjoying what they're doing and creating something new, trying to push the boundaries a little bit more. So if I could sum Leah up, she's she's that young person, passion, energy and enthusiasm and that's what hairdressing needs is people like that. Our stylists, colour technicians and assistants are all trained to really high standards here at the Colour Room Academy. From March to September 2008, I was still enjoying the second half of my reign as Junior of the Year in the British Hairdressing Business Award. On the night I won the award, the key industry figure, John McLeod, took me to one side and advised me not to waste the title, but to really make the most of my time and use it as a launch pad for my career. I hope John will think I did him very proud. At the end of March 2008, I was the subject of a full page feature in Hairdressers Journal International's Bright Young Things. In April 2008, I went on to complete my Master Colour Award and was then promoted to Technical Director and Head of Colour Training at the Colour Room. May 2008 was a very exciting and busy month. First, I was invited to Weller Professionals to be part of their team hosting an exclusive VIP styling station at the OK Magazine's RD Crusaders event. Working with one of my industry heroes, Darren Ambrose, styling hair of glamorous celebrities, rock stars and royalties was a huge honour and a huge thrill. Next, in May, I reached the Northern Regional Finals of Weller Trend Vision 2008. After that, I was the subject of a double page spread in the Professional Hairdressers Rising Stars feature. And finally, I travelled to London to assist Sean and James Tetlow with their 2008 British Hairdressing Awards photo shoot. June saw me assisting Sean Tetlow on stage in a live hair show at the Q103's annual Look Good Feel Great event in Manchester to an audience of over 400 people. At the invitation of Michael John's general manager, Elaine Shah, in July, I visited the iconic Mayfair Salons team of 20 juniors to give an inspirational talk about winning my Junior of the Year award and my achievements and press coverage. In the July-August issue of Creative Head, I was part of a full-page feature, Rock and Roller Stars, and was pictured assisting Darren Ambrose styling the hair of celebrity Tanya Bryer. It was a huge thrill in November being accepted onto the Fellowship's 2009 Project X team. I've met some amazing industry icons and have learned so much. So far, I've done a PR day with Harriet Evans, a Sassoon's cutting day with Mark Hayes, and a photo shoot where I went on to meet Anton Muscolo at the Bedhead Studio, also learning loads from our mentor, Robert Eaton. I'm really looking forward now to doing the photo shoot with Stuart Weston in August and appearing on the Fellowship stage at Salon International. Taking on board Harriet's advice, I prepared a press release about Project X and secured coverage in both Professional Hairdresser and The Fellowship magazine. I was featured in a four-page spread of the November issue of Hair magazine, where I went on to do a reader's makeover photo shoot. 
This year has seen my first TV work. I've been filmed doing Yvette Fielding's hair in her documentary, Living with Yvette and Carl. But for me, the highlight of this year has to be winning runner-up at the Clothes Show Live, Young Hairdresser of the Year 2008 competition. Being judged by my ultimate role model, Lisa Shepherd, and appearing on stage in front of 6,000 people is an experience that I will never forget. Before I go, I'd just like to say, if I was to win this award, I would put my heart and soul into being UK's most wanted ones to watch. Thank you for watching. Bye.